Hello ladies and gentlemen. It is my great pleasure to introduce to you uh, the call for papers on semiconductor lasers to be published in the IEEE journal Selected Topics in Quantum Electronics. Um, the deadline for the call is the 1st of February 2015 and the papers are to be published in November, December uh, 2015 in the print version but uh, every accepted paper actually is already uh, put online in an unformatted way uh, just a week after publication so it is uh, well accessible uh, by the community very early on and can be cited from then on. Um, so about the, um, about the call for papers itself, so it's a biannual actually call for semiconductor lasers and it is representing the state of the art in the community, the progress that has been made within two years. Um, it is typically um, organized together and given out the call for papers with the International um, Conference on Semiconductor Lasers, which was hosted this year uh, in Palma de Mallorca in Spain, which I was able to attend. Um, this is a well-established conference. Actually, it was the 24th one we have just um, recently uh, seen in Palma. And the previous one ones actually uh, were in San Diego, which I was also able to attend in Kyoto before Sorrento, Waikalo in Hawaii, as well as in Matsuo. This was the first one I attended. Um, and it is representing the entire field of semiconductor lasers and also progress done in the field. Uh, so this year actually the conference featured uh, three plenary talks, uh, five invited speaker uh, discussions and presentations as well as a RAM session on green photonics uh, and lasers and their role in green photonics. So, um, so this was uh, very well uh, attended. Um, the uh, topics actually of the semiconductor laser uh, issue we have just put out is to collect the entire progress made in the field recently. So the call is actually available online on the Photonics website, so you just see it as a first hit if you click on uh, enter Photonics um, org and then you um, have a call for papers and you see it there. And uh, be aware that the deadline is rather close, so we have about two months exactly from now on. So please uh, prepare your papers and we are looking forward to your high profile contributions here. Um, just to uh, clarify what we are looking for in um, this uh, issue, so the call for papers is asking for a lot of topics actually. So we are looking for coupled semiconductor lasers, for grading controlled lasers, multi-segment lasers, distributed feedback and photonic crystal lasers. Um, as a more emerging topics, um, we are looking for nano lasers and plasmonics lasers of course sub-wavelength lasers in this regard, or as a new direction, also polariton lasers, which are becoming more practical. Uh, we look in particular for quantum uh, dot and quantum wire lasers. Um, of interest is also um, anything related to mid-infrared and terahertz lasers and sources. Um, a topic of major interest is also uh, silicon uh, photonics and integrated photonics 3.5 on silicon. Um, ultraviolet lasers and visible lasers, um, particularly green and blue, are also of uh, interest. Uh, we are looking for high power and high brightness lasers as well, uh, so we solicit uh, contributions in this field. Um, important are also tunable lasers, um, short pulse lasers and narrow line width lasers, so you see it's a very broad actually scope uh, we are looking for. But also we are looking into new materials for uh, semiconductor lasers um, like for instance recently bismites and other things or anything on new quantum dot uh, related developments for semiconductor lasers. Um, maybe I should say a few words about um, the editorial board so we were able to gather a broad range of expertise. So as a primary guest editor actually uh, Professor Luke Moss uh, from the University of Wisconsin in Madison, United States of America. Um, he is the uh, primary guest editor and we were um, able to um, attract him as, uh, for heading this editorial board. 
He's an expert in anything related to semiconductor growth um, and semiconductor laser growth, quantum dot growth, growth of and uh, design of uh, quantum cascade lasers, for instance, as well as vertical self-emitting lasers. Uh, we are also uh, lucky to have uh, attracted Lukas Krostowski. So he is an expert in injection locking of devices with a recent major focus on uh, integration uh, of optoelectronic devices on silicon. Uh, also related um, expert of integration of optoelectronic devices is Anne Catherine Coleman um, from the University of Texas. Uh, Dallas and the United States as well. Um, so she is an expert in integration, as I said, as well as um, in intermixing, quantum well intermixing of uh, devices. So we also have, uh, as an expert of anything related to mid infrared lasers, um, Leon Sterenkas from the University uh, of New York at uh, Stony Brooks on board. Um, so he is uh, well known for his high power uh, mid-infrared lasers as well as long wavelengths diode lasers on antimonite uh, basis uh, where he was able to push the records and he is um, on board uh, with our committee. Um, uh, expert in telecommunication lasers, distributed feedback lasers um, and uh, silicon photonics uh, again is um, uh, Professor Nishiyami uh, from the Tokyo uh, Institute of Technology and uh, he is also um, contributing uh, to the board. Uh, finally, I am um, a guest um, editor of this um, journal, so I have a background in semiconductor growth and design and fabrication uh, in general as well as characterization of semiconductor devices and particular semiconductor lasers. Um, I have been uh, working on quantum cascade lasers, on diode lasers as well as interband cascade lasers and recently I'm looking more into uh, quantum dot and nano lasers or uh, polariton lasers. So uh, emerging technologies and emerging lasers as well as an integration of uh, devices and uh, detectors. Um, so this is actually the uh, board. So what we are hoping for actually is that we can complement um, uh, all the contributions that we have seen, the very successful one at the conference uh, with uh, attractive papers um, in the journal of selected topics in quantum electronics. So for the 10 years I've been following this field and publishing now uh, in this journal, I have seen that this is really um, a, a kind of summary of the state uh, of the art in the field. So, and it's very well received actually. The impact factor of the journal currently is 3.47 and uh, over the last five years the average has been above 3.5. So it is very attractive uh, to publish in this journal. Uh, for everyone and it is very well visible this journal. So in the field of electrical engineering it um, ranks about, uh, about top 10 uh, percent of all journals as well as in the field of optics and even in the broad field of applied physics it ranks in the top 15 percent with its impact factor. So it is really good for you to place um, the, um, your contribution here. Um, so it is a high standard, high profile um, call that we are putting out here. Um, so in general what to say um, about hot topics actually in the field. Um, so we have uh, recently seen a lot on progress on silicon photonics and we are particularly soliciting uh, contributions here. So this means 3.5 integration on silicon is a direct growth uh, of quantum dot or quantum wire material. Um, but also um, uh, flip chip bonding, for instance, or other approaches and technologies here for integration and silicon photonics. We are also looking for inf uh, mid infrared um, uh, contributions, and here also relevant is actually reduction of power consumption to make it more portable, uh, for instance, for sensing or other applications. And uh, related actually is also a major trend and topic we have recently seen. Uh, which you might call green photonics, uh, reducing power consumption of any sort of lasers 
in the different systems and environments just to save energy. Um, other topics actually are quantum dot material or any kind of new material could also be quantum well. Uh, for instance, uh, bismites is a major topic that we have seen emerging recently, a completely new family of material uh, for semiconductor lasers. Um, yeah, I think these are the hot topics um, which come to my mind and uh, immediately. And so we would of course be very happy to see here contributions uh, amongst this field and the others mentioned and looking, we are very much looking forward uh, to your contribution and with this I want to thank you.